how to make a simple bear trap in Unreal Engine. Here's what my blueprint likes, looks like. Um, I've just got a disc for a skeletal mesh, but I'm going to put a skeletal mesh in there later for an actual bear trap and an overlap box. So what happens is on begin overlap for the overlap box, which is the sphere, I'm using a switch has authority, which is just to say that this is working in multiplayer and I only want this to happen on the server version of the game. Do once node and then try and trap the overlapped actor. So the way that this works is I check if it's a character. If the cast fails, nothing happens because we're using, we want to stop the character movement when they get inside the trap. Um, I have some logic for a damage component. Um, you don't need that. Well, if you want your actor to be damaged, you can set up your own damage component. I've got a video about how to do that. I'll put in the, I'll pin it to the comments, all right, below, if you want to set up a damage component. But after that, these are the nodes that you want to use to stop movement. So you get your court character reference, which comes from your cast to character. Uh, get the character movement. You want to stop their movement immediately so that they stop moving. <laughs> but then you also want to disable any further movement. So use this disable movement node. Now this thing here will also stop them from falling as well. Um, so if you want to make sure that they're not suspended in the air by the bear trap, you can use char uh, character, cast a character movement, um, is falling, and check if they're on the ground before you trigger the event. Um, or you could put them on the ground, that's an alternative. And then what I've got is an event to just put multicast some sounds. So that literally just calls a function that I've made over here, which is spawning sound and spawning particle effects, which is looking really complicated and that's not necessary. But once you do that, once you do that, you try and trap, um, it'll return true if it's trapped and it'll return false if, for example, it couldn't be damaged or didn't have a damage component or wasn't a character. That's the important part. This node will return false and then the rest of this won't continue. Um, so if a character is trapped, then you do use the delay for a trap time and then you want to release the character the way that you release the character is you get the court character reference, get their character movement and then set their movement mode to walking. So if I jump in, this is my game. Oh, it's all... I don't want too many screens, let's just have one screen. It is a multiplayer game though. But, oh that's so laggy. But here's our trap on the ground. Dorm, I can't move right now. And then it's released. And then step in the next one. Boom. Yep, so that's it guys. Um, how to make a bear trap. <laughs>